So basically, when someone does a shot, he he would sh shoot himself a reference, and he will use this reference <clears throat> uh, for the shot. When you start animating, you realize it, it's my my caricature. It's a, it's a, you know it's very cartoony. It's a, it, sure. it doesn't really correspond to to real life physics, right. and right. Uh, you end up with a different timing and spacing. Sure. And so how do you, how do you you know tackle this? How do you? Yeah, and that's what I was saying back here when you watch this shot, right? King Candy come out here and he holds in the air for a full second, right? Like right here. Like, how do you think the animator did that? Like, you know, they shot reference, right? Most yeah. likely, you know, so, so there's a combination of imagination and know-how, first of all, right? So the animator can go like, hello, and he can jump out and like land. He's going to kind of just do his, his world world body weight. The whole movement's probably going to be like less than a second, right? And this is like a second and a half or more <clears throat> for this whole movement. And so he's going to do the best he can with the posing because he wants the idea. He wants the idea of the cadence. He wants the idea of like, you know, hello. He wants to get an idea of like what his arms do, you know? And he wants just a kind of a starting point of that bouncing ball. At some point, the animator has to say, okay, I'm going to go do a timing pass. And for me, I do it before I do blocking plus. After, I do it after I do my, my initial blocking pass. I start pushing my poses more. I start thinking about the timing a little bit more. And then I start breaking the shot down in that point. And I really dig into timing. The reason why is because your timing is really important to your breakdowns because sometimes you'll put a breakdown between two key poses only to find out that you don't even need that breakdown because it doesn't fit in the action where you want it. And so you'll change it. A guy like this or a girl like this, whoever animated this scene is, is, a, is a veteran animator who has done a lot of imagination through animation, you know? And so they start somewhere. In fact, maybe this animator comes from 2D and they just did a 2D block out, you know? And all that animator's thinking about is like this. They're just thinking about that ball, right? What's that ball doing, you know? And so <clears throat> they're just thinking about quick, really long hang time, quick, you know? And that's what they're thinking in their head. But don't, don't, under, don't underestimate the amount of know-how that has to go into something like this level. I would never expect a beginner to do anything like this because they just don't have any context to pull from. Maybe if they're a really good artist coming into animation, then maybe they can bring some of that posing know-how into it. Um, but in terms of like really careful stylized choices, like for example, just this one right here, after he lands, just this movement right there, that's just kind of the animator figuring out that he wants to push the hips over, sink in the body, fold all this up here, and then move through a bottom mark, you know? And so they're just finding ways to like, because think about it, all this flows, right? This flows, this flows, everything kind of moves through arcs. And so they're looking for connection points. They're looking for things that will help these vehicles to go this way. They want everything to kind of wrap up so that everything can kind of squash through like a, like a hamburger, right? <laughs> you know, so from a ball to a hamburger and back to a ball again, you know? So part of it's like just 12 principles of animation and like just knowing how to apply them. Um, and then imagination for, for, for uh, interesting uh, timing, right? Like really long choices for like really long hang times. That's just like a really, that's just like a decision. Like I'm gonna make this guy like, hello. It's like up there for like a, a day. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just like pops back down, right? You know, there's just a lot of experience that comes with that. You know, be patient to a degree. Because right? it's going to take, it's going to take time for you to like, to get to that level. You know, it's like, it's a, it, it could, someone who's really good, who just gets it and is like, their comprehension understands this, these concepts um, with enough practice could probably get there like three years, maybe three years of like hard practice, <clears throat> excuse me. And then like um, some job experience and like just feedback from good directors, good supervisors. For some people, it's like six years to get to that, that level, you know, but it depends on a lot of factors. You know, it's, it shouldn't, none of us should compare ourselves to anybody else because we are only us, right? It just is what it is, right? And so I would just say, Start with reference and then move away. If, if if nothing else, at bare bones, you just want those main poses we talked about. Just start building your foundation. 